How's it going everyone? It's Harvey Foam Mother Swan Drop Thousand and in this video we're gonna focus on the possibility the Midwest and the Northeast could experience a major snowstorm by next week headed into your Thanksgiving weekend and we'll also focus on the current lake effect snow event that's impacting a lot of the Great Lakes region and determine how many feet of snow you should expect in certain areas of the Midwest and the Northeast associated with the lake effect snow. But before I begin make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of the lake content. So first, let's talk about the potential for our next major snowstorm next week headed into Thanksgiving weekend. So if I were to continue to move forward with the GFS model, we do see that behind this trough that recently just moved through the Northeast, we have a major Arctic blast moving through the eastern half of the United States, bringing um, temperatures that are well below average for this time of the year. And as a result, we are seeing a strong northerly flow that spring str a strong amount of lake effect snow but headed into next week that could create a snowstorm pattern to where we could potentially see our next major snowstorm in the midwest and northeast because if i were to continue to move forward headed into the five day mark we see numerous um small clipper systems move just north of the united states border we of course have one that's expected to move in by the this weekend where which will only enhance the lake effect snow and if i were to continue to move forward we have another small trough that's going to stay just to the north of the United States border not bring any sort of major snow outside of maybe the areas of, um, affected by the lake effect snow and if I were to continue to move even forward we have another trough again going to miss out on the United States but this trough right here has the potential of moving very um, far south enough to where it'll enhance the instability in the United States and create the possibility of a significant storm moving into the eastern half of the united states that could bring not only inches but feet of snow in certain areas of the northern midwest and the northeast because we do see that associated with this clipper system not only does it move far south enough to bring snow to the northern midwest but it brings a strong northerly flow with it and that will force the cold air that's sort of trapped in the polar regions move further southward in um, closer to the southeast and of course the southeast is still um is still experiencing very warm temperatures even during the month of november especially since the gulf of mexico is still very warm with temperatures hovering around the 70s still so that cold arctic air will interact with that very warm um southern um, southern United States air and Gulf of Mexico air mass and that will create enough instability for thunderstorm activity to develop right around southeast and of course heavy snowfall just to the north of it where we do see a negative tilt in the jet stream which represents that there's a very strong amount of instability where we're seeing that the cold northerly winds move just the south of the warmer um, warmer more moist um, air that's located in the southeast and that creates a highly unstable environment for the winds to not only increase but the convection also increase for this storm to potentially rapidly intensify as it moves eastward and if I were to continue to move forward we see major snow impact a large portion of the northern midwest and the northeast where of course we see the millibar pressure drop down to 982 this is as of the 12z run if we were to take a look at the more latest run the gfs model has been a little bit less lenient on bringing as significant of a snowstorm as it seems like the gfs model while it still does bring heavy snowfall to a large portion of the uh, midwest we see that uh, most of the at least the coastal united states misses out on the heaviest of the snow in this scenario as it seems like the snow is a little bit too far to the north and to the west of the coastal northeast to bring major snow to you guys but this still brings major snow to chicago indiana um, indiana michigan ohio and of course the lake effect snow regions and the interior northeast just not impacting the the coastal northeast as much but we still see a significant storm out of this clipper system moving through thanks to how significant this jet stream is so it is definitely something we're going to need to pay close attention to over the next several days um when it comes to the european model however the european model is a lot less confident in bringing a major snowstorm to the northeast if i were to continue to move forward we see that the european model does bring numerous clipper systems just to the north of the united states border but we'd see that this clipper system that would 
potentially become our significant snowstorm from the Midwest and Northeast, moves a little bit too far north to bring as significant of a jet stream to the United States for this slow pressure system to tap into that very warm Gulf of Mexico um, air mass and very warm and moist Gulf of Mexico air mass. So it doesn't strengthen as much. And while we do see some snow right around the northern um, the northern portion of Michigan, it's far from being um, being a significant snowstorm. And we do see some snow right around the interior northeast, but it's primarily light snow. And this storm isn't very strong much at all, thanks to the fact that it doesn't really have enough instability to strengthen and bring that major snowfall to the northeast. But it still at least brings some snowfall to the northern Midwest um, by next week head into your Thanksgiving weekend. So there's certainly agreement that um, between the two compute models that a uh, trough will move into the northern Midwest and the northeast. What's really going to be the key determinant in determining whether or not we're going to see a major snowstorm this Thanksgiving weekend or not is it well, how far south this whole pressure system moves. Because if it moves a little bit too far north, then the northerly winds won't move far south enough to interact with that very warm and moist air mass that's centered over the Gulf of Mexico for a high enough level of convection to occur for this storm to rapidly intensify for the wind speeds to increase and as a result the upward moat um, and as a result the lift won't increase when there isn't a high level of instability and in this scenario where with the European model the storm is a little bit too far north to bring that cold air to interact with that warm air to bring a high level of lift or convective available potential energy to the atmosphere for the for a high level of convection to occur a high level a uh, high um level of updrafts to occur um, for this storm to continue to strengthen and of course bring more water vapor to aloft in the atmosphere for a higher amount of condensation to occur but if this storm were to move a little bit further southward we'd see more instability more lift in the atmosphere to force a lot of that water vapor um, into the upper levels of the atmosphere for a higher level of condensation to occur and as a, a higher level of precipitation and as a result um, a higher rate of snowfall and rainfall overall for the United States and it would be a much more significant storm if the GFS model scenario was correct. So we're just going to need to wait and see which one will be the most correct scenario. Um, what really will determine it is how um, the jet stream positions itself over the next week. So we're going to need to pay close attention to the northerly winds over the next several days because I think that will play a big role in terms of positioning the jet stream. So if you see that the northerly winds are a little bit stronger throughout the Midwest and the Northeast over the next several days and then we're more likely um, gonna have a shot that a major snowstorm um, of a major snowstorm occurring this Thanksgiving weekend so keep in mind of the winds over the next several days because um, that will really determine the position of the jet stream to really determine the chance we'll see a major snowstorm this Thanksgiving weekend but uh, I'll keep you guys updated as the forecast as a certainty rises of course and as computer models continue to change their forecast so it's going to be uh, it's going to take a while for um for the certainty to rise enough to where we could confidently say there's going to be a major snowstorm or that there won't be a major snowstorm we're just going to need to wait and see over the next several days but just keep in mind that there's a possibility headed into this thanksgiving weekend which could be a big problem for a lot of you guys because i know um uh, many americans travel um during Thanksgiving weekend I'm pretty sure that's the weekend when most Americans travel so you might want to be be at least prepared or at least be aware of that snowstorm possibility in case anything um, in case you're let's say um, traveling for Thanksgiving so make sure to just keep that in mind head into next weekend but another thing we're gonna need to pay close attention to is the lake effect snow because that's gonna stay persistent over the next several days we see that um, uh, when we could see feet of snow right around Buffalo and the areas surrounding Lake Ontario as well, um, right around, um, right around the eastern shore of of Ontario that's where you should expect um, some of the worst lake effect snow and of course on the eastern shore of Mich Lake Michigan that's where you should expect the worst of the snowfall so make sure 
to keep that in mind. If we were to take a look at what the GFS model is forecasting when it comes to snowfall, and this is assuming one inch of precipitable rainfall equates 10 inches of snow, like I've been saying in my previous winter videos, that isn't always necessarily the case for where one inch of rain equates a 10 inches of snow, but for the most part, it's still at least around the ballpark, and we do see that just south of Buffalo, we could see feet of snow where we do see um, close to three feet in some areas. I think five feet is certainly not out of the realm of possibilities, and it should occur likely um, only within the next um, three to four days. So it's going to fall down at a relatively fast clip, and in those areas um, affected by lake effect snow, you need to pay very close attention and stay off the roads um, because, of course, you're going to experience just very um, high snowfall rates and that's going to be near impossible to drive in um, head into this weekend. So make sure to stay safe, stay off the roads this weekend for in those areas affected by lake effect snow because um, it is going to, it is very significant and you could easily experience up to five feet of snow in some areas. So make sure to keep that in mind and make sure to take the necessary precautions regarding the lake effect snow, because it's certainly going to be very significant and one of the worst lake effect snow events you've seen in recent memory in some portions, um, along the Lake Erie and Lake Ontario coast. So make sure to just stay safe and stay off the roads for this weekend in those areas. Now, um, uh, another thing I want to show you is the North Atlantic Oscillation over the next several days because this will play another big determinant in determining whether or not we'll see a major snowstorm by next weekend because, of course, um, the more significant the jet stream dip will be um, heading into Thanksgiving weekend, the more likely we're going to see a major snowstorm for the Midwest and the Northeast. So um, you, um, you see that right around the... Um, by the time we approach Thanksgiving weekend, we're going to be, it's expected that we're going to be either in a very neutral North Atlantic Oscillation phase or maybe in a slightly positive North Atlantic Oscillation um, pattern, which would mean that we're less likely to see a jet, uh, significant jet stream dip when we're in a positive North Atlantic Oscillation, but it's closer to neutral to a point where it becomes uncertain whether or not we're really going to see not um, we're really going to see a jet stream dip or not because of course um, even though it's positive it's not very far um, into the positive range so we could easily still experience um, an out an outlier such as a major jet stream dip by um, this Thanksgiving weekend because it's so close to neutral to a point where we can't really say it's necessarily um, very well in the positive North Atlantic oscillation phase uh, say with confidence that there won't be a significant jet stream dip next week so I still do expect that there's that possibility we still um, could expect um, a very significant jet stream dip by next week despite the fact that we're mainly going to stay in the neutral phase head into Thanksgiving weekend so definitely something we're going to need to pay close attention to the North Atlantic oscillation over the next several days now um, let's say if the GFS model scenario was correct when it comes to this um, this upcoming snowstorm we do see that um, a lot of areas right around the northeast would experience well over a foot of snow and of course the interstate 95 corridor would be right um, at the heaviest uh, at the heaviest um, snow's doorstep where we could easily see over um, a foot of snow in the interior northeast and we even see up to three feet in some areas which would be very significant and we see this heavy snow extend to illinois chicago as well where chicago right now the reading is right around um right around 20 inches which would actually be close to a record for the chicago area i think the record when it comes to snowfall in one snowstorm is right around two feet so it wouldn't be that far from the record if this snowstorm were to come for fruition so it is definitely something um we're gonna pay need to pay a close attention to over the next several days while the european model isn't really expecting much snow for much of the northeast um head into next thanksgiving weekend but here's my forecast when it comes to that possibility of a major thanksgiving winter storm we could see major snow for a large portion of the united states still highly uncertain still way too early to panic i'd say but 
at least be aware of it throughout the northeast and the midwest because we could see a major thanksgiving snowstorm but anyways guys i think you guys watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather content and i hope you guys have a great day